Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 35, The Warded Man by Peter V. Brett. The Warded Man is my new favorite epic fantasy novel. I have yet to read the next two books in the trilogy, but if they're half as good as this one was, I know I'll enjoy them immensely. There is so much I liked about this book. I'll start with the characters. There is one main protagonist, but also two other main characters that you get to know well. The first time Brett jumped from the narrative of the first main character to show me the second, it annoyed me. I didn't want to learn about other characters. The one I had come to love was in one heck of a fix, and I wanted to know what would happen to him. As I read on, though, I came to love the second main character, and then the third. One of my favorite things about the book is that you get to experience a long section of the characters' lives. First, meeting them when they are just about to come of age, and then seeing amazing transformations take place in them. The characters were very real to me as I read, and I really enjoyed getting to see them grow up. I can't wait to see what the next two books in the series hold. So next I'll hit on the story world. It's what really drew me to the story. A world where demons rise at night? <laughs> How cool is that? Enough said, I'm already interested. Learning how the cultures have to live around the demons coming at night was really interesting. I loved the world, and the way Brett unfolded it as the story progressed was awesome. The way Peter V. Brett wrote the story is something else I loved about it. It's fairly modern with its vernacular, but has just enough older words sprinkled in to really add an amazing medieval fantasy flavor that I loved. The diction of the narrator and character's dialogue made the world feel richer and helped transport you to be right with them out of the modern world, but in no way ever got in the way or made things abstruse or hard to understand. I loved the writing style. It had almost a slow pace, but I hate to use that word because it was never boring. I loved every scene in this book. The pacing did a great job of letting you really sink down into the world and explore it with the characters as epic fantasy should. Then you would be jolted out of the fully realized world to see amazing and gruesome fights. Brutal fights, which reminded you that when night falls, you better be behind your wards, or the demons will get you. There is so much to love about this book. To me, it's an instant classic. I can't wait to read the next two novels in the series. I know I'll be rereading this book again someday. Rich epic fantasy that never gets boring. Wow, that is fantastic. You know what else is fantastic? You can get the audiobook of this for free just for trying Audible service. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free copy of The Warded Man by Peter V. Brett, narrated by Pete Bradbury. And I read this book by listening to the audiobook, and Pete Bradbury did a fantastic job. It's 18 hours and 14 minutes long, so, you know, if it was like a decent narrator, that'd be a long time to listen to just an okay voice. Pete Bradbury just knocked it out of the park. It's the first time I've ever um, listened to an audiobook narrated by him, and uh, it won't be the last. Not only am I going to read the other two books by listening to the audiobook, uh, this is called the Demon Cycle series, and The Warded Man is the first one in that series. 
but I would love to um, listen to other books narrated by Pete Bradbury because he's great. He really makes the warded man shine. And um, if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free audiobook, and it could be any audiobook of your choice. But this week, I really want to recommend The Warded Man because, like I said, to me, it was just an instant classic. Just reading a quick synopsis of the book really made me intrigued, and I was not disappointed when I listened to the whole thing. So get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial at audibletrial.com slash Reviews. It's just a thank you to my listeners, and when you do that, it's also a little bit of a thank you to me because it gives, puts a little coin in my purse and helps support this show. Now, let's get back to that review. Oh my gosh, holy crap. One thing I didn't really talk about in the review that was so awesome. Oh man. I'm getting so excited. Just had to stop for a second there. I don't think that's happened to me, but I'm sure you can hear the joy in my voice. Uh, so you go out into the world and as night falls, demons literally rise out of the ground. Freaky, right? No, not just freaky, terrifying. So they're not just like humanoid demons that are creepy or something. They, there are all different kinds of these demons, and some of them are huge beasts, just monsters. Like, I wouldn't want to face off against a demon creature if it was the size of a poodle. <laughs> but if it's like the size of your barn that you have been stowing weed in all year, and you're all angry at these demons because you can't do anything during the night because... They'll claw you to death or eat you with their crazy dagger teeth. Dude. And dudettes. The monsters in this book are freaking terrifying. <laughs> They're so awesome. It's so cool to read about the characters facing off against them because they have ways to try and save themselves from these monsters, but oh my gosh. You really feel like they're definitely gonna die and that there is no way that they can a defeat these creatures or b just get out of the situation with their lives it's fantastic the fight scenes are so cool uh, there's scenes where the warded man who's the main character is like discovering stuff that's old and buried in this old place that no one's been in for a long time there's um, all these cool scenes where Half Grip, one of the main characters, plays a stringed instrument, and that's kind of how he makes his living, and so he's like playing to the crowd and dancing around, and um, there's a lot of emotionally charged scenes with a female main character, and there's just a lot in this book. It's a long one, but it really has a lot to offer, and like I said, so I love reading epic fantasy, but... I have to admit that like when I read The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan or even a lot of Brandon Sanderson stuff, it's awesome and it's amazing. It has some of the coolest scenes I've ever read, but I have to admit there are a lot of scenes that leave me bored. This book, I was never bored, and for a book that long, that's really, I can't recommend it enough. It was just fantastic. So, really cool kind of mythology and world building. The world of this book is so cool. The characters that you get to know are highly developed. You get to experience a lot of their lifespan. And this is only the first book of three. So I can't wait to find out what they're up to next. And the magic system is so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> if you've never read Epic Fantasy... Um, Start with this book. Don't start with The Wheel of Time. Um, start with this book. Give it a listen. Get it for free. Check it out. Get a big fat paperback so that you can carry it around with pride and people see you and they're like, holy crap, that book is huge. What are you reading? 
and then you can tell them all about it and how awesome it is. So that's all I've got for you guys this week. Uh, let's see, what am I going to review next week? Ah, next week I'll be reviewing A Minor Magic by Justin R. McCumber. And I'm actually listening to the audiobook for the sequel to this book right now called A Broken Magic. And I gave A Minor Magic 5 out of 5 stars because it was fantastic. And A Broken Magic, the next one, is uh, turning out to be just as great. I'm loving it. So come on back next week and listen to me review A Minor Magic by Justin R. McCumber, who you may know as one of the main hosts who started the Dead Robots Society writing podcast. Alright, hope you guys have a great week. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas coming up, and um, we'll see you next week. Mike, take it away, my friend. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.